flower, sir. I touched it. It's like fire. The tricorder of Star Trek could non-invasively analyze people and environments. Turns out scientists may not be far from actually building such a device. I'm here with Walter de Brouwer, CEO and founder of Scanadu. So tell us about your company and this device you've created. Well, Scanadu is um, uh, it's a, a NASA-based, NASA Ames-based uh, company. Uh, so what we do is we make this. It's the 21st century version of the medical tricorder of Star Trek. So basically it has a complete emergency room in there and you know when you go to the emergency room and they hook you up, the same readings you get out of here. And now we are putting molecular diagnostics also um, in there and eventually also imaging. So that's, you know, it's one more device out of Star Trek that will see reality. So just what kind of information can I get from this device? Uh, well, let's try it out on, on you, perhaps. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So um, I'd like you to, in your left hand, mm -hmm. uh, and put your uh, thumb here and uh, your finger here mm -hmm. on the electrodes. Yes. And put it on your left temple so you create an electrical circuit. And uh, as you will see now, look, it's already scanning you. Uh, so you see your EEG and your PPG. And now it's trying to get the first reading. So the rest of the uh, parameters have not yet been, uh, the uh, algorithms have not yet been connected to the device that's next month. But you will also see diastolic blood pressure, systolic blood pressure, your respiration rate, and you know, other readings. Dr. McCoy, a reading on the atmosphere, please. Partial pressure of oxygen, 70 millimeters of mercury, nitrogen 140. Breathable if you're not running in competition. Just the uh, facts, doctor. So how's this actually working? What's it doing when I press it up to my forehead? Uh, so the sensors in there, so the most important sensors are PPG, ECG, your temperature, temperature sensor. But there's also MEMS microphones and accelerometers in microprocessors and, and batteries, of course, and Bluetooth modules. But basically, when you put it on your forehead, you create an electrical circuit, and from there, from the ECG, uh, we pick out the uh, pause between the two peaks, and that's you know your heart rate, your temperature. We have already the PPG uh, sensor is going to do your SpO2, and then a, a combination of uh, a PPG and ECG is going to give you what we call pulse wave transit time, which is uh, um, just a transit, a transitional figure, because based on that, with our algorithms. Um, and also, uh, you know, the, a bit of uh, history of how you use the device. We come at uh, systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Then, based on, on the blood pressures and your ECG and uh, your PPG, we arrive at uh, the, the RR, the respiratory rate. Sometimes also by using the device and just putting it with the MEMS microphone here as a second specificity, you know, to be more sure. <laughs> And all that within 10 or 20 seconds? Yeah, sometimes it can take a bit longer. If you want to do real, um, so if you want to do heart rate variability, you can also do that. But then you have to uh, almost do it for two, three minutes. Mm. So and that, that becomes sort of, uh, you know, close to torture. You know, <laughs> like you have to. see these being used in doctor's offices? It seems simpler than some of the tests they do when yeah. I go to my doctor. Yeah, so if, if I look at the people who have ordered the devices, there's a lot of doctors in there. And uh, they want to use it on rounds, they want to use it on themselves, on their patients, they want to try it out. So this is, this is very much uh, an explorer's edition. Mm -hmm. So where we have to find completely new cases, but perhaps we haven't thought of yet. It's, um, you know, for people who don't have health insurance, it's good. For people in the third world, it's of course good because you're not even, you don't even use a healthcare worker. You just need somebody with a, a smartphone that's connected to this. And then with the molecular diagnostic devices of urine analysis and, and uh, flu panels that we have made. So a lot can be, you know, in a factor, uh, can be divided by a factor of a hundred in costs and also in time. And, uh, 
It's all because we have built that infrastructure of mobile uh, smartphones mm -hmm. that um, we can do that now. We couldn't do that 10 years ago. Space.com.